said he had a knack for refuse. He's the hungry fairy. Hi, everybody. So today I have the Guy Fieri Professional High Carbon Steel 12 inch skillet. I've been looking for a nonstick pan that has been able to produce a brilliant sear. I heard carbon steel was the way to go. I figured Guy Fieri, he can't go wrong, right? He's a superstar in the Food Network. And it comes with a lifetime warranty. So let's take a quick look here. So on the pan, it says pre-season, but you still have to remove the protective coating. You can follow the steps here to continue seasoning. First step is to peel the protective coating, then apply oil, heat, and then wipe off the oil when it cools. You're supposed to do this a couple of times. On the packaging, it has the directions again, and also some safety tips. This pan could survive 500 degree temperature without the silicone grip and 350 width. Those are pretty high temperatures. There is also a recipe. Now, the weight is pretty good. For a 12 inch pan, it's pretty heavy but you can still move it around with one hand. Here's the silicone grip. The exposed rivets to the handle could make this cleaning hard. But overall, it looks very secure. And here's the Guy Fieri logo. Okay, so let's get this coating off. So I'm looking at it. It seems to be some kind of film that is on the pan. So this is the film I'm guessing that I have to remove. It seems to be stuck on the pan pretty well. Now there's no actual directions on how to remove this. So I'm going to guess you have to just peel and take your time. The protective coating seems to shred. It seems to also be very sticky and sticks to everything. Now, there's a problem with peeling. Since it shreds easily, it's very frustrating to actually get the peeling off. Along the edges are very difficult and it just doesn't come apart easily. There's always going to be these little fragments that just seem to not want to come off. You could kind of get some of it off in big sheets, but there is always going to be these little pieces. Now, I pretty much got most of it off and I've given up. I'm going to try using abrasive such as baking soda to rub it off. All over the pan, there are these little plastic spots all over the place. And mind you, the protective coating is clear. So it's also very difficult to see. This is after one round of washing this with baking soda. I really wish there was no protective coating on this pan. It was such a hassle to remove. So next, I try boiling it off. Could never fully get all the pieces off. So I just decided to leave it on. It was just too much work. And after three hours of scrubbing and peeling, I just given up. Since I had to boil the pan, I have to re-season it. So I have here a high temperature oil. The first step is to heat up the pan and wipe the pan down with some oil. I'm basically heating it where it just smokes just a little bit. And then I shut off the heat. I basically repeat this multiple times. You can see from the first round, it's starting to change into that bronze color. Just heat up the pan near the smoking point, apply the oil and wipe. This is roughly about five times. It starts to turn into this color. So let's test if we could get this pan to be nonstick. I coat the pan with some oil. Once the pan is hot, I'm gonna place the egg.
Now it's going to be the deciding moment. Is this going to be easy to move? So far the edges are lifting up. Nope, the egg is sticking. I pretty much failed to make this pan non-stick with the directions. So looking on the internet, I decided to go with the recommendation from America's Test Kitchen. They recommend to cook with potato skins, oil, and salt. As you can tell, this created a huge mess in my kitchen. With the process, it was able to produce a nice sheen. But you know what? It still did not work. Everything that I cook in this pan sticks. I have cooked chicken, bacon, steaks, pork chops. They all stick. I tried multiple times to even re-season the pan. It just wouldn't work. For this, and the combination of the protective coating, I highly recommend not to buy this pan. Guy, if you're listening, please don't sell this pan anymore. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.